Hi everyone, I'm Tristan and I will be your TOEIC guide today because I'm going to give you 10 key tips that you need for TOEIC reading. This will help improve your score. So let's get started with tip one, tag questions. Now, what the hell is a tag question? A tag question is used at the end of a sentence to confirm something, so to make sure you are right, or just to ask a question. Let's look at a couple examples. This lesson will be easy, won't it? Won't it is a tag question, or you aren't comfortable with tag questions, are you? Now, there are four important points about tag questions. Number one, it looks like a yes, no question at the end. So it looks like yes or no question. B, you can use positive, negative, such as you can swim, can't you? Or you can use negative, then positive. You can't swim, can you? Also, the verb tense in a take question is the same as the original statement. An example, they hadn't been able to find the file before the meeting, had they? Notice the original had not been able, so my tag question will not be have they or are they, it will also be past perfect, had they? So had not been able, had they? Another example, most people understood the reasons for the changes. So. You can see understood is simple past. So in a question, we would use did. Did is simple past in a question. So did they? One more example. She will not apply for the job. Will she? So future, future. So let's look at a few TOEIC questions. You can see in 111, it says there aren't many people who can solve this problem. Well, we are using simple tense, aren't. We weren't using weren't. We are not using won't. So we are now going to make this positive. Are there? So the answer is B. Or they said we could arrive earlier than the start time. Blank they. Now, we can see that the original is they said. So, the answer is didn't they? Didn't they say this? So, the positive is they said. Now, we're going negative in the past. Didn't they? So, those are tag questions. These will usually come up one time on the TOEIC test. All right, number two, do not choose However, therefore, moreover, yes, thus, furthermore, to start a sentence if there is no sentence before it. Let's look at this TOEIC question. Blank, the organization wanted to hire more people. It could not afford to do this. Well, immediately eliminate A and D because we don't have a sentence before. So we can't use however or therefore. However, if it said the organization wanted to hire new staff, period, blank, it could not afford to do so, in this situation, you could use however, because there's a sentence before it. Tip three, be aware of prepositions after the blanks. Here's an example on a toilet question. Management blank on the workers taking safety courses once a year. Well, you can see you have on. So we don't order on something. We order workers to take. We don't demand on. We don't require on. But we do insist on something. That is a collocation. After insist, I insist on noun or I insist that subject verb. Therefore, the answer would be A. I just need to look at that preposition on. One more example. 
several of the students blank with the university's decision to ban laptops. Well, if I use object, I object to something, but we have with, the preposition with. Well, which word connects with with? Disagree. I disagree with an idea. I disagree with an opinion. So right away, I can get the answer because of that preposition. All right, tip four. If you see then, you need a comparative adjective. So adjective ER, like bigger, taller, smaller, or more or less adjective. More difficult, less difficult. If I see then, I will need it. An example, the test was blank difficult than previous tests. Because I see then previous tests, I need a comparative. So the answer would be C. Or the newest device was to use then past devices. I have then past devices. The then tells me I need a comparative. So the answer is D, simpler. So because of then, we are able to understand that we are going to need more adjective, less adjective, or ER, like bigger, smaller, faster. Tip five, lots of tips today. Whew, I'm going to get tired. Tip five, you will not always use two plus verb. Sometimes it is okay to use two verb ing. Let's look at a TOEIC question. The team needed blank attendance or it would have to relocate to a different city. Now, in this situation, I would pick A. This is an infinitive verb. For example, I need, want, have, to verb, to verb. That's called an infinitive. However, POIC will try to trick you. Sometimes you can use to verb ing. We can use it with these words here. After these, you can have to verb ing or to noun. An example, as a manager, she has been committed to new employees overcome daily challenges. Now, most people see the two and say, hey, however, in this situation, committed to is followed by noun or verb ing. So the answer is helping. And this is devoted to, committed to, dedicated to, connected to. Let's look at one more example. It says, I look forward to. After this, you are not going to use a base verb. You will pick B. So this breaks that rule of two verb. So remember these nine or ten words because these come up often once on the TOEIC test. Not always though. Tip six. If you use by the time in TOEIC, the main verb will probably be future perfect. Okay, what is future perfect? It's not very common, but it is will have verb. Often, TOEIC puts this once on the test. So when you see by the time, this is a big clue. An example, by the time she arrives at work, the meeting, well, the answer that TOEIC wants here is probably B, will have ended. So you can see this is using by the time, present tense, and then the main clause is will have verbed, might have verbed. TOEIC often tests this. Now, if you have by the time plus past tense, do not worry about that rule. Notice, by the time the test was officially over, most students, here, we're going to pick C. Because it is not talking about the future. We see the test was 
officially over. That's talking about the past. However, if it says by the time the test is officially over, most students will have left. That would be what TOEIC is testing. Okay, tip seven. If you pick a superlative, and a superlative is biggest, tallest, most disgusting, most frightening, or least disgusting, you need the before. Or you can have a possessive adjective like his, her, its, and so on. You will not use a or an before. If you do not have the in the TOEIC statement, do not pick a superlative. Let's look at an example. Working at this company has been than I had expected. Well, there is no the, there is no his, there is no her. So immediately eliminate B because you don't have the hardest or my hardest. Also, you have a then. So we need a comparative. And remember, a comparative is like adjective ER. So pick C. Let's look at a second example. The customer praised the staff member for being the she had ever spoken to. Notice the. This tells me we will have a superlative, like biggest, best, most challenging. Why am I saying most challenging? Least difficult. So we can see we have a most here, and a big clue is the, the most informative. So the answer is B. Tip eight. Okay, we're almost done. We're getting to 10. Tip eight. Read the whole sentence when you do TOEIC. Do not just read half. The whole sentence will help you get the answer. It is very common for students to panic or just read one small section. Let's look at a couple examples. The travel will be processed as soon as they are received. If we just read the travel blank will be processed, everything could be the answer. Everything. The travel document, the travel documents, the travel documentation, all of that could be the answer. So I need to keep reading as soon as they are received. They is a big clue. They is two or more. Well, document A is just one. Documentation is non-countable. The only plural noun we have is B documents. So I need to read that whole sentence. Another example. As you can see, after the blank, you do not have subject verb. They have a gerund phrase, several witnesses identifying. So therefore, we can eliminate A and B, because even though needs subject verb after it, and providing which is another way to say if needs a subject verb. So now we have C and D, but I have to read the whole sentence. So the idea is several people said the man was a thief. The police charged the man, so he will be punished. Despite does not make sense here. If we look at the last sentence, if I use despite, the last clause should be a surprise, such as despite several witnesses identifying the man as the thief, now we have a surprise, the police didn't charge the man with a crime. However, the police did charge the man. I need to understand the context. So the answer is with. With can equal because of. All right, number nine. If you use so, you will need that in TOEIC. In spoken English, you do not need to do that. But TOEIC is very formal. An example, the area was so dangerous. 
In TOEIC, they need that result. So the area was so dangerous that the police refused to enter. So X verbs, so adjective, adverb, that, subject, verb. If you do not have that in the TOEIC question, do not pick so. Here's an example. The challenge was difficult and many people gave up quickly. There is Know that. So I'm going to eliminate B and C immediately. Now I can remove extreme because you need an adverb. Extremely difficult. So as you can see, if I have so adjective, so adverb, I need that in color. Let's look at another question. As a manager, her duties were blank demanding that she has to be demoted. Oh, this is easy. We have that and result, so I'm picking C. So, number 10, the final tip. When TOEIC uses since to talk about time, the main clause will be present perfect 99% of the time. Since subject verb, or since subject now, or sorry, since subject verb, or since noun, the main clause will be present perfect. An example, since the restaurant opened, it has served over 100,000 meals. It has served, present perfect. Or she has been working at the company since 2009. Remember, this rule is related to time. Sometimes since can equal because. If since means because, this rule you do not need to follow. Okay, so let's look at an example. Since the early 2000s, AI more prominent in workplaces. Well, this is talking about time. So easy. The answer is C. But let's look at the next one. Since the shipment will be larger than prior years, we more staff in the warehouse next week. This one is not talking about time. This means because the shipment will be larger than prior years. So here, we're going to pick B. But in TOEIC, if you see since and it's talking about time, your main clause will be present perfect or present perfect continuous. Well, that's the end of today's lesson. You might want to watch this again because it was long and fast. Remember to share, subscribe, like, and thank you all for your support. Have a great day.